Well, good evening, everybody. We are today on our thing, 14th sub class. Is it 14th or 13th? 14th. 14th. So, yeah, so that's quite a distance we have traveled. We have finished Rosales, Mertales. Fabulous, almost finished, a little bit half done. Is Rama Dinavahi here? Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Nice, very nice. So we have been having quite an exciting time doing all these in great detail. We have done at least uh, 10 remedies from these groups. And we've had some case from Robina, we've had some case from Vapticia. And uh, today we are going to also do, uh, today we have a lot of excitement. We have two people sharing cases with us and it will make it very, very nice. Uh, so we have Dr. Rama Dinavahi, who's going to again show us acute cases of Robina and of Baptitia. And then we have Dr. Bhaskaran, who's going to show us. Bhaskaran, I hope you have your face also there, yes? Yes. And, uh, yes. Good evening, Dr. Bhaskaran. Good evening, good evening, nice evening, to join us. So he's going to share the case of isostigma. After that, we are going to do some remedies here. Isostigma, trifalon, so on and so forth. And <clears throat> next week, we will finish uh, all the fabulous group. So it's been a nice, good uh, two, two and a half months almost. Yeah. So I just wanted to do this one short remedy before we start that. That is called Jonesia Asoska. It's called Joanne. Is from the Ashoka tree, which is called the sorrowless tree. Belongs to the family Fabaceae and native to India. So again, it should be a very important remedy for us because it used to treating female organ pathology. That is all that is used is in amenorrhea, irregular periods, profuse periods, which don't stop at all, too much pain, and with profuse leucoria. They have, they have craving for sweet. They have craving for sweets and uh, a coated white brown tongue. So the most only thing we have to remember here is that it is ovarian pain mainly with headache and hormonal problem. It's a very rare remedy. And so in any case, if it's not helping our our constitutional, we can just use it. And as usual, the flowers of all the fabians are beautiful, these are orange and yellow flowers. This is all, that's all the information that we have. So sorrowless tree, female pathology, hormonal problems. So the appearances can be any type, amenorrhea, too much, too irregular, with a lot of pain, endless bleeding with profuse leucoria and craving for sweets. That is the only thing we have to remember. 
and uh, now i'm going to stop sharing and invite uh, dr rama dinawahi to share her cases with us yes and i'm going to go off screen rama unmute yourself and start your video yourself. also i have yeah yeah i'll start my video also yeah 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 so share the uh, i mean my pdf is there in whatsapp you send me ha oh, yeah yeah I by have... email yeah no 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 it's on uh, whatsapp pdf me hai oh okay one minute ha huh? oh. No, I don't have it, Rama. You don't have it. No, in uh, your no. way. In Rama Dinawahi, I don't have it. In which folder you sent it? To Nirupama, I have sent. Uh, I'll I'll just try to share which was there in my my cruise. You can send it to me now also. I can. Okay, okay. Connect to OneDrive. I will send you till then. Yeah, yeah. I have sent to you, madam. Okay. You sent it to madam, no? Okay, okay. Ah, uh, so madam can open from her uh, laptop, na? No? Okay, okay. Okay, so I have. Rama, you will do the. Yeah, yeah. I I can. Uh, uh, it has it has opened on your. Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Open both. So, huh. first case, Robinia case. I want to share, which is uh, yeah. Yeah. Can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I can see this. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this was the case which was received in verbatim form. Uh, female aged seventy eight years consulted for the following symptoms: severe vomiting and loose motions, ten to twelve times from last fifteen days. Some improvement, but still the persistence of symptoms with weakness. Loose watery motions with urgency. she has taken some allopathic treatment which has relieved her little bit but still the symptoms were persistence persistent and loose motions very watery with urgency appetite was reduced not able to retain anything severe burning sensation in the epigastric region whole digestive tract and uh, with bouts of empty erections and ga gases or games gases passing continuously before this uh, episode of uh, symptoms she was admitted in a hospital with covid positive during april 21 for 3 weeks and breathlessness was breathlessness and uh, gastro disturbances were there only treatment given are zinco with visela capsules busco gas i mean to relieve the spasm as she was having uh, breathlessness because her oxygen levels were not coming down so they 
probably they took it as a spasm of the bronchioles and all. They have given these uh, uh, busco gas and then the domestal, uh, domestal syrup, sorry, for the relief of the vomitings. And uh, only during uh, all those uh, times, the significant blood test, because all other blood, uh, blood reports were uh, normal, like her CBC and all, except uh, this was C-reactive protein were elevated 50 milligrams per dilution. And uh, as I was mentioning you, above medicines were prescribed and fluid replenishment and observed for three weeks and they, and they discharged. They couldn't find, I mean, like her oxygen levels were also well maintained except uh, slight weakness, nothing was uh, abnormally detected. So she was discharged from the hospital. Then, uh, then after that, uh, after her discharge from hospital, I gave because there, there was still the pain remaining. So MAC was 30 for 15 days and uh, pulse 30 was given as an SOS. Whenever the burning sensation is more or if she's feeling any hyperacidity symptoms. And during April 22, again, she was down with the same set of symptoms. I could perceive a sense of distress, insecure feeling more markedly. So went for Robinia 30 as her. actually the initial uh, strong indications were her hyperchlorohydria symptoms. That was excessive acidity symptoms were distinctively intensified again during that April 22nd. And after Robinia 30, that is. Can you, uh, Rama, can you give us some more? Uh -huh. uh, this thing, I never have thought of Robinia at all. So, can you give us more uh -huh. guidelines yeah. of how you came to that? Correct, correct. So, see, exactly, it's the initial perception was like, because uh, last year also, again, during the same April, May, she was down with all these symptoms. Again, this year also, around the same, uh, she was down with the same set of. Uh, symptoms and the uh, the symptoms which were presented were uh, again the severe gastric irritation and burning sensation along the uh, GIT tract and uh, as being actually at that time or else also I mean like I have an idea about her life space like she was uh, retired from as a headmistress from a well-known uh, government school uh, government school and very, uh, very authoritative and very friendly person like, uh, and she has a lot of siblings and are around 11. Uh, and uh, her, her nature wise and all also very friendly and all. So with that kind of thing, why she was uh, getting so much of... Uh, so she was the headmistress, so we have a feminine authority uh, kind uh, of... Exactly, thing. feminine so authority. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, she got along with all her family. So again, very yeah, see, I mean, very well settled family. Like her daughter and her own brothers were staying near to her. Like it was quite a. Uh, I mean, uh, overall to say to see or to say also there was nothing visibly we could see any other things that were uh, very uh, well demanding, family, like, close uh, and uh, plus a feminine uh, career. Correct, so feminine. Plus five, you came to yeah, okay. Correct, correct. That was one thing. Plus, uh, when we see the symptomatic expressions, are also were very much matched with Robinia. And the personal history, she was short built with active lifestyle, staying at her own place with twenty four into seven help, actively taking her walks for thirty minutes, though uses aspirin and inhaler regularly, whenever she feels uh, mild breathlessness. She was active with her uh, large close knitted family, her own siblings, brothers and sisters staying in the same city and her brother, own daughter also stays close to her away, 20 minutes away. She was retired as a school headmistress in government school and quite efficient in her services, always been a, as an independent lady. Like being uh, in the large knitted family, close knitted family, one thing and uh, being in the authoritative thing also. She, she was very brought up, uh, not exactly brought up, but she has helped all the family also to settle well. And her own family, she lost her husband around 10 years back, who is a central government, who is, uh, who was in a central government services. And son and daughter who are very close to her and uh, takes care, overall care. 
and son staying in us constantly in touch with her like son was a, though he was uh, staying uh, distant but he was almost uh, whenever required he used to come quickly in the sense like within no time he used to or else also the daughter was always been uh, around her like so with these things and why so much of uh, nutritional uh, uh, i mean uh, the aspect of git why so much of disturbances in uh, git tract that also made me to think of uh, robinia and uh, actually to be honest this robinia earlier also i gave in to one of two three of my cousins who are uh, who who i know the history like so that what is the history of those cousins the uh, that cousin uh, he was also the same way. he was uh, working in a very good reputed mnc and all he was suddenly there was some changes and he has to shift to some other uh, things and has to go away from uh, south africa somewhere uh, some other place he has to take up that uh, job and all so at around that time again he came up with the severe these kind of symptoms only which where, symptoms uh-huh. symptom described the symptoms in a sense like uh, gat disturbances with a uh, lot of uh, vomitings and uh, loose motions like as if he couldn't uh, uh, able to discharge further like he was just around 40 or 42 years at that age like uh, otherwise quite uh, earlier and all though here and there there were symptoms but were not uh, given so much or once or twice he had some piles complaint and taken some treatment but uh, not this kind of as if he couldn't uh, able to move or uh, he couldn't able to discharge his uh, things further so that's how that was long back story uh, though so with that uh, also in my in my mind robinia was uh, prescribed and uh, overall with that uh, she was doing very well like uh, then uh, i just uh, shared the themes of uh, the uh, rosets also which have guided uh, further yeah aha uh-huh. one more thing uh, actually past history she was having she was treated for cervix cancer given chemotherapy probably in a very early stage because here what i came to know the short history was she was given uh, radiotherapy and all and uh, that was the thing like chemotherapy and uh, only few sessions were given and she was out of that and she was doing well like after the regular checkups were d- done very uh, i mean uh, fairly doing well leading good life uh, enjoys parties and functions more interested in shopping and happy to have like these are all the traits infancy traits like whenever daughter used to go she used to insist that i have to come with you, with you to shop and all don't go leaving me like she used to demand uh, to the daughter it seems you just don't uh, you have to tell to me if you are uh, taking or going for any function and all so like that she used to insist to her and uh, i and apart from all these things one more significant point is her cognitive functions were also assessed at, at that time i mean after she came general talk only uh, i was talking with her uh, in general only all these things were uh, being uh, assessed like uh, once when uh, dr astrani sir was uh, sharing uh, mini mental state examination in the elderly age group uh, Uh, persons he was mentioning this so i i was this was actually with the general talk all these things were also elicited at that time and uh, so here we do, do how her call was how her language was and correct, how her correct came. how her she yeah exactly so the, according to that also everything were like very much stable and very cognitive functions were very clearly assessed like at that time uh interestingly and according to the uh, yeah so here significantly she was helped with robinia 30 and subsequently changed to robinia 200 also in frequent doses interestingly and according to the plant classification also this belongs to the fifth subclass rosets and family fables fables the themes connected are the, the issues at column 5 and stage of development is infancy stage fables the rose depicts the infancy stage of development 
old age and second infancy according to the Erickson stages of development. Here in, in particular, the individual case is old age and we can take this as a second infancy stage of development. Themes connected, uh, connected are existential insecurity, involvement of GNT, basic at the nutritional level, sense of threat, strong masculinity is the feature of this column. This, this masculinity coming up at the same time, submission to the authority that elicits uh, in the physical body, congestion and of course, age-related atherosclerotic changes. Because she has to like, though she was uh, staying independently and doing all her things, but at the same time, she has to say yes to, I mean, uh, not that in a strict hierarchy sense, but she has to say yes to the daughter, or uh, because everything uh, daughter has to take care of for all like so and uh, uh, frequently an external force is experience it's her own experience like a suppressive or violent expression in the expressions in the form of vomitings and loose motions but the inability to respond with appropriate emotions that creates condition like congestion is that main thing of the whole. Ha, even problem. if you yeah. see at the respiratory level also, there used to be some kind of mild breathlessness. Though she used to do with little uh, puffs and all, with astaline syrup and all, she used to do her regular walks, used to go for her things and all. The feeling is unsafe to go outside without proper nurture, all infancy features without the dependency. I cannot move forward though she is an independent and independent lady. Physically, the theme is reflected in digestive system responsible for assimilating food, thus, re thus uh, moving to the basics of nurture. Separate and uh, se get separated and achieve again back into the relationships. Here in our case, the theme we, we are well illustrated was old age infancy and all the nutritional medicines were uh, in the fabalis all legumes are there groundnut soya green peas etc so the symptoms are at the so uh, same the plant uh, robinia belongs to family fabalis and developmentally belongs to the infancy line of development with oral needs and enjoys functions part is very much holding to our to her own being one self versus dependency and self doubt still her desire oral needs are very strong affectionate strong familial attachment here also we can take that attachment uh, uh, strong attachments to the family and all the leguminous roots will have nitrogen fixation in its roots yeah that's one more thing her inclination for strong and spicy foods and wants to enjoy happy in gatherings and suffers, but in consequence suffers with the gastric derangement. So this, this was the understanding. So, but with the nitric uh, acid, we don't see much, so much anger and all that, which- we... Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. We don't see that. We hear more of sensitivity only, like plant, sensitivity only whenever she, with all those things also, she used to, I mean, whenever we meet also, she used to mention, See, for me, I'm very lucky all are around. Even uh, they do come to me to meet me. We all have a good time. Like, it, it's like a general uh, uh, thing. Like, So here course, we, uh, have come to, we have come to a person who was a headmistress. So, huh. and a feminine, so feminine, masculine with some, uh, this thing. So we come to energy, yeah. plus, And plus now she's in old age and she's dependent. So that infancy line where we come to, uh, Correct. And, and, and a lot of gastric yeah. things we come to Robinia. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, so, and uh, so uh, with all these things, uh, the Robinia was selected. Though, of course, I don't deny the fact that earlier MACFAS has helped, but this has uh, uh, reduced the intensity and frequency of attacks very much. Like, even I told her to keep taking that medicine also, keep the stock always, don't. Uh, uh, only thing, uh, of course, that is again, which we, it's not, uh, because they usually, when the loose motions are there, immediately they do opt for allopathic medication. No? So that sudden stoppage also somewhere, uh, which is not advisable, but 
that's uh, the fear and uh, insecure will insecurity will be there no? what if, if if it goes too much or... you kept kept with her so so that you are secure whenever she got a problem yeah exactly exactly so that was the robinia case very good very good and yeah. uh, mesas remember robinia for fifth subclass infancy line infancy, and yeah. especially digestive with some yeah. today's amount of old age so coming to dependency and wanting Sorry. people around uh -huh. all that and we very good so uh, yeah. we'll just uh, if we can find in our uh, one liners let us see mm. if we can find robinia yeah. and just uh, try to summarize it mm -hmm. So here we have Robinia. Uh, Rama, I had tried to do, uh, you know, we so many remedies are there, we forget. So I tried to do a little in short, uh, you know, of all the remedies that we have studied so far. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here we had had a case very different, but it was mm -hmm. a kind of a malaria miasm, which also, you know, that mm -hmm. she came again and again in April, June, again, she got it. So mm -hmm. she never knew when she was going to get it. So that's mm. why you kept the SOS with her so that mm. she'd feel secure. So that malaria myism is there. Mm. And then she wants, uh, when her daughter comes, she wants to go shopping. She wants to immediate gratification. Not yeah. attachment to family. There's mm. the frustration, of course, and the eructations and the acidity. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. So she's, uh, some of them gases up and down and explosive. She didn't have it, but that is what is uh, this thing. Uh -huh. And there yeah, is another... Yeah, comes very close. Yeah, correct. Hmm. So there is another thing which is striking in this remedy. It's head striking as if the brain is in motion. Not hmm. in this case, but that is hmm. a remedy. Uh -huh. And the fear is always of being humiliated. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So then she loses ambition. But here in this case, it was very different. It was hmm. a congestion. It was... A, and the expression was by vomiting and gastric disturbances. She had mm. come retired and was living alone, but she mm. had all her people nearby. So the attachment was very strong, even to the son who would come at any time. So mm. that's why mm. she could get immediate gratification from the daughter or from her attachment mm. to the family. Mm. And so, yes, so our uh, one liners not so far away. Very so good. far, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do your second case. Last time uh, we had Dr. Uh, Priya coming. She explained uh, mm. uh, the case of Baptisha also very nicely. Mm. So Dr. Mm. Rama is a good friend of mine and Nirupama and all are here. And we do the FHPC together and the ITC. So we mm. are all, all the time bonded. So we can use each other to, you know, develop our ideas further and consolidate our learning, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Doc, Dr. Rama, your second case. Yeah. This is a case of, again, 60 years old lady consulted for the following symptoms on 26-6-2021. It's an online video consultation. Her daughter-in-law was already under my treatment. She was admitted in hospital in the month of April for pyrexia and for genitourinary symptoms, diagnosed as COVID, mild. As the, during that time, as the fear and apprehensions are a lot during that period, admitted in the hospital and discharged, keeping her for uh, three weeks. She was known diabetic also. That's why, that's why they thought they wanted her, uh, I mean, they admitted her. But somehow symptoms, there wasn't much relief. Then they discharged after three weeks. Then she again, more or less the symptoms were continuing like after April also. And May also she was continuing some uh, uh, urologist treatment and all for the uh, urinary uh, symptoms and all. But there wasn't much improvement. So her presenting symptoms as on 26-6-21. Temperature varies uh, between 100 to 101 from last 15 days. Mostly the temperature is worse in the morning. If she takes antipyretic, the temperature comes down and could able to attend to her routine. 
burning micturition, burning while passing urination, sudden escape of urine with irritation and burning. At times, continuous burning sensation. Associated with dryness of tongue with thirst increased and wants to drink water frequently. And these intense symptoms were present during April but was discharged with mild improvement. I mean, the uh, phase is continuing like uh, she didn't really she, improve much. Yeah. yeah, she really didn't improve much. Exactly. I saw her again once during 2019. I mean, this was past history. Came with her daughter in law. The main complaint was that at, at that time also, her uh, blood sugar levels are not coming down in spite of uh, all the medications she was taking. Then I took the case, but couldn't able to get any characteristic features, but could be could able to perceive the generalized burning more of the feet, so prescribed sulfur 200 to take for a week. And then I didn't uh, get the follow-up. Uh, I mean, like I, I tried to contact her, but somehow I couldn't get her follow-up. Then I saw her again on 26-21. That was the present, uh, the symptoms which I narrated. Apart from the above totality, she was given the history of continuous fevers during her adolescence, lasted, lasted for almost six months. This was the signal because I was asking her what else, what else. Then what she could uh, come up with this is during adolescence uh, at the transition phase, like when she completed her plus two or sometime during that period, she had a fever for almost six months. The, she was running pillar to post, it seems, for the treatment. They have given various treatments, but nothing happened and suddenly the fever has settled down. That's what the history she has given. The, here, the totality considered are low and prolonged continuous fever, 100 to 101, temperature worse in morning, whole body pains, pains more on shoulder blades, sweating, profuse on head and neck. And then the uh, thirst is increased, worn sips frequently, and burning micturition. Then this was, uh, though... Apparently, the case pointed to arsenic all, but that was already taken before for prevention of COVID, assuming that it should, because they were taking at that time, uh, uh, so many homeopathic medicines were also being given. But as I told to daughter-in-law, arsenic alb only, you please stick to, don't uh, change to anything. That to occasional doses I asked her to give. She herself used to give, it seems. Then the... Uh, then taking above symptoms, Baptisha was prescribed with the idea of continuous fever, prolonged, a kind of septic state. Because I, actually I saw only single remedy was there, though the continuous fever with uh, of purpural origin it was. But uh, though that uh, purpural sepsis and all those things were not there, but I took the idea as the septic fevers also, septic state of fevers which were there like, so that's how I taking above symptoms, Baptisha 200 was prescribed with the idea of continuous fevers, prolonged kind, septic state and her blood. So because see any sepsis also uh, doesn't uh, control the blood sugar levels, any septic foca in the system. Yeah. So and blood sugar levels are also not coming down and her HPA1C was 8.2. And she was uh, almost every day she was taking her fasting blood sugar post lunch and the temperature, everything like uh, she was uh, meticulously, yeah. she was uh, writing everything and was sharing like as if, uh, of course, that, that's the retrospective and uh, understanding how a school student will write, no, like everything. Yeah, the, she has written everything in a quite a good format. Actually, in WhatsApp, all those things were there. This uh, weekly reputation and she shared the reports, daily temperature and uh, reading uh, readings on the WhatsApp, blood sugar readings on WhatsApp. Uh, and this plant, Baptisha, belonged to Fabalis family, falls under Rosette's subclass 5 and developmentally belongs to the infancy line. During, during the crisis, the symptoms location was genitourinary symptoms with sudden escape of urine, infancy no control over and septic fevers prolonged. So Baptisha was given. And here one more understanding, even of course, Dr. Baskaran is around, he can explain. I think Chakra 2 understanding also will be very clear in this case. 
Uh, but of course, at that time, not all this thing. And when we were doing this, uh, the, the before that itself, two three time, uh, two three days or two weeks before we were uh, doing in FHPC also ba Baptisha in uh, uh, Baptisha thoroughly also. Plus her uh, symptoms also pointed to this. Actually, initially also before the, I asked her to be in touch with me, like so. But when once the things have better and. Uh, blood sugar levels were settled she was off from the treatment though so that was one small uh, phase, as a phase remedy or it could have been a constitutional remedy i don't know i mean like that was the thing but she was very happy her things were better and daughter in law also shared like yeah she was doing much even i i was not understanding why this Fever was prolonged so many days, right from April to so till July. Almost I saw her from June to July. On August till last till I I saw her. And it's very interesting just, that uh, the preventive arsenic was given, which didn't hmm. do anything much, and huh. she had that fever. They discharged the till early without huh. her being well, and then Correct. she comes and uh, a prolongs prolonged uh, septic state, what we call. It's huh. very practitia like mm -hmm, even mm -hmm. from material medical angle, it is like yeah, material medical angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and, uh, that is so again a a nutritional given, line yeah. of uh, yeah, nutritional line. All the remedies and legumes are uh, all uh, beans and all green peas, yeah. all all leguminous uh, plants which are, which has that nitric element in them also. Maybe that condition which can be explained here. Yeah, so yeah. Very good case. So let us see yeah. if in my one liners any Baptisia is there. I'll check. Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, tamarind is also from the same family. So yeah, tamarind, alpha alpha, yeah. Yes. Alpha alpha, yes. I was uh, so as uh, uh, Dr. Nirma asked me to prepare this, then all these remedies I was again going through. Yes. So here we have Baptisia, which is the typhoid miasm, mm -hmm. uh, where what typhoid miasm mainly means that you are hopeful of recovery. So this mm -hmm. patient also, after even the earlier time she came to you and now she came to you, when she was better, she went away. So mm -hmm. she's not in the worried state like yeah. that, that any time something can happen to me. She's uh -huh. quite hopeful and carefree. Okay, yeah. I'm now well. Uh -huh. So as per... Uh, the fabulous, the whole yeah. thing is about being scattered. We don't see that here, but mainly mm. fever and recovery. This it can be either recovery. despair or hopefulness. When mm. she had it for a long time and she had it for six months, even in adolescence, which mm. is like really very, very strange. Mm. Yes? Mm. So you have, um, yeah, if the mind gets affected, you will have confusion. Yeah, yeah. At that time, actually, she was about to go for some uh, higher studies and all, which didn't happen. And she was bonded at home only. Like, so uh, the, the, just fleetingly, she was mentioning like a, like a baby, I remained at home only without pursuing my further so things. Your, yeah, all. very clearly your infancy stage comes yeah, up. Has yeah, has come up there like... Hmm. So that is very good. But it's a, it just reminds us of Baptisia where for prolonged infection and which you don't respond to anything. And mm -hmm. of course, the pulse and this ratio that we know of. And mm -hmm. the toxic mm -hmm. yeah, state, alteration in the, pulse the septic and... state and something mm -hmm. else, some other focus like diabetes in this case, which allows the person not mm -hmm. to have good proper immunity and to be able to fight the disease. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so we have done in short that recovery. So very good. We did last time uh, also Robinia and Baptitia. This time also we have done that. So it is very good. And now we are going to do. Thank you so very much, Rama, for two very interesting. Thank you very much for giving the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Yeah. So thank you for the very nice cases. Yeah. And it makes us, you know, think that yes, we can use these remedies. Yeah. Because sometimes there are so many remedies coming and we say, when are we going to use? How are we going to use? Mm -hmm. So this is very uh, yeah. useful. This one way uh, this plant classification and understanding is really yeah. helping. Yeah. Because at times you can't remember each and every symptom of the remedies, no? Yeah. Though, like, exactly. So, so that is why, you know, the group 
even in we have the SSMS on this Sunday after mm. two years gap, mm. the twenty eighth SSMS, and in that also I'm taking how group study your animal charts and how these mm. charts are helping us Help. to you know okay, come okay. to uh, conclusions and yeah. changing remedies also. Mm -hmm. So that's those uh, times you may land up in little confusion. But with little bit more, uh, I think effort and all the clarity will be coming up. Yeah. So, so Dr. Weimer, now you are able to hear, you're okay. I saw your messages in the chat now. Okay, so now we are going to do one more uh, good uh, friend of ours, who's also with us in the FHBC group, Dr. Bhaskaran. He's going to share his understanding. You can take the share screen. Yeah, good evening, good evening, good evening doctor. doctor. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I'm always. Do you see her? Yes, you can do full slide. Yes. I like the title. My life is like daily pushing the boat in life. Every day, yes. get up, push the boat. Yeah. Yeah. She said actually, my second and third follow up like that. I, my life is like a daily pushing boat in life. Yeah. Actually, she used to tell in Tamil all the all the things. I, yeah. For me, little English version is still difficult. Please forgive me if I am doing any mistakes. In. Preeti, can we have the author also a photo here? Doctor, can we have the spotlight on the author? On the author. speaker, Doctor Baskaran, if you can. I couldn't get you, Doctor. No, not for you. I'm asking Preeti to show your okay. your face here. Anyway, carry on. Okay, this is the case of 36 year old female came on 27th of uh, March 20, 2022. This is the line why I put means to this is the one which helped me to select the exact remedy goes into the remedy. The complaints actually complaints and her life space that it is diagnosed with the disc desiccation C7 to T1. Degenerative bone disease actually and cervical spondylosis, shoulder effusion, supraspinal disc mild uh, tendinopathy as given in the CT scan and the and she came with uh, complaints of bony pain in shoulder, and neck and legs and hands, and back ache like that. And he, she used to talk much. She never, if she said it's paining, no, she will tell like it's a bony, bony pain and talk something like 10, 15 lines, then only she will stop. Then again, she will talk again the same thing. So like uh, the bony pain and which is uh, usually from last, uh, you know, first starting to end of the case, she used to say very looseness in all joints. Looseness, I feel very loose. I feel very loose in this uh, shoulder, in this neck. Probably in the neck region, she will get more and more and towards that uh, spinal column of the back of her. And sensation of stiffness also persists sometimes and also looseness in all the joints. Uh, she It increases maximum in the morning time. And also she tell, I feel very weak, very weak. Body pain, morning, knee, bo uh, knee below. Usually, sometimes she will tell, like, uh, yeah, this pain is okay now. I feel better now. But below the knee, all the bones paining like this. I uh, As if that I don't have, I have no strength. And complaints as if sometimes she will tell, like, no blood circulation in my legs. And in particular part, she will tell, no blood circulation. No blood circulation in this area. And sometimes numbness also she will tell. So some uh, complaints day pain in the both legs as nails get activated stiffness and stomach also get irritated. Whenever she says like that uh, morning, sometimes she will tell like uh, stomach is get irritating. I couldn't eat. It is not uh, going down like that. She will tell. It's like a foot pipe. She always said like a uh, foot pipe from the foot pipe, the foot cannot enter down sometimes. So. She complains of hip bone pain, maximum bone, always related with bone pain, like that she will tell. My bone becomes loose and all joints get loose. I got stiffness in legs, sometimes in neck, whatever whatever she uh, bombarded the words, that I just kept it here. Because she's not in a way, 
giving the uh, answer like si one symptom in a very vast but she is to say many 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 symptoms and talk much more and more we have to stop and then ask then only she will answer so like that it's it's mean that i felt it is a diarrhea verbal diarrhea so knees get irritated so 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 you know sleep get disturbed a lot knees get irritated and burning sometimes she used to say burning at the uh, you know the soul uh, soul of the uh, knees wherever the pains there she used to get burning pains sometimes my leg feet palms nerves get paining in the palms and feet she used to sometimes she will tell like the paining is the burning type gastric problems like and burning in abdomen upper abdomen always thoughts of bombarding much and music humbly rates and here i want to say that the music amul rates you know why because uh, in this when she goes for singing so the fifth chakra i uh, the fifth chakra the throat chakra is the fifth chakra where they can uh, get some unique performances she is to sing inflammation burning knee same same type of symptoms again repeating here uh, night time she get loose and irritating sometimes morning time she also getting uh, last one week like that that day when she came get cold and sneezing like morning aggravations eyes are burning and dryness not only since one month then and then she used to say i i have my uh, eyes issues sometimes so i will go and check for the refractory but i don't put for the glasses like that she used to say concentration is very weak and mem memory also low uh, she used to loss her uh, uh, memory whole day full of work but i don't like to work you know the whole family came to our house for two times also uh, they stayed because they are a little uh, known person they used to come and the whole family will come and they stay here and i will see all the activities there uh, she won't work even i asked why don't you help to my uh, wife i asked even but she said she can't work so have a shunt to works but if someone come to my house feel not happy because i can't work got routine work tension my servant if leave if he, a servant is in on leave she can't uh, take rest so she wants she wants to get take rest but she, it, it is not happen so she is uh, very much uh, sad about it so, and then going going for work after that pain uh after that pain starts again in the time so morning since uh, since morning she used to take care of the children to taking the schools and coming back and take the she has to just help the husband to the cooking for the cooking and whatever she do she say i am very feel much tired but she want to do because uh, before after like uh, 10 years back before marriage at all she used to work a lot but now i couldn't work i couldn't work like that and evening at 7 pm she again get tired and fatigue then all the problems come again she couldn't sleep well then the dreams come she couldn't remember that also after he te she teach to her son his son is a adhd uh, uh, boy he is studying you now at uh, the time she is studying at 9 9 burning in after she teach and come for the bed she is to say the burning in the heart and center of the heart and food in pipe is not going down difficult in swallowing something she is uh, distress after she takes some uh, physical work after she taking some physical work or something heavy she feel more burden whatever she used to do the work whole day again night she used to say there is no sleep because of that uh, burden things hunger is coming when i was cheated by someone else so trusted trusted people when i was ignorant she messaged me in the whatsapp that uh, there are many times uh, even uh, known people will cheated like uh, she says she says that hunger you know why how the hunger come if the person is talking but if he didn't talk for a long then he she get anger with her the childhood history so here we can see dr baskaran there is another important uh, in the fifth sub class that the aversion yes. to housework because there is this feminine and masculine kind of a yeah. fight so yeah. the feminines don't want to do the routine housework yeah. that yeah. most that i'm going to in, yeah. in analysis i i yeah. in analysis i will explain that i think i written it in detail brief in uh, analysis also okay thank yeah, you yeah, yeah i can tell like no problem so in the childhood history at 13th year of her uh, year old her mother was dead so she is not not much clingy with the mother 
fear of seeing the kumkumi in forehead in the death formalities but she is very but her father is her father is very strict but she is very clingy to her father i asked her why she is a very strict father then how you are very much uh, uh, clingy with him i asked her uh, he gives uh, you know he is very strict but uh, whatever i need something why i need something he is to buy and give me he is to buy and give me all the things he will make me more comfort so she is very much like the comfort zone there so he enjoyed it that so he she is very much clingy so in the clingy form you know in the many times whenever the problem comes in our house she is to say about that only so oh, if my father is there nothing will happen he will be okay even for uh, to uh, to change her she is to say i don't know i am not going to talk with you for a few days then again she will be dis- little despondent she can't uh, be digest it uh, with her so father stopped her interested st- hobbies uh, also she have many interested hobbies but she, father stopped her interested hobbies uh, for her safety see i i, the, I asked this also she also stopped your interested hobbies what what about you think about it i am asking but she say uh yeah i had said that uh, yeah, um anger with me but uh, he so he said that it's because of your safety and uh, safety only i did like that then she used to agree that is what naive you know the naive of the second uh, first and second uh, row the naivety is there with her and interested in fashion technology convinced her that from that also she he convinced her that convinced her that father has convinced her but felt bad inside and subsided because she liked that fashion is interested in that little bit so wants to become doctor you see she told me i want to become become doctor because his brother is a doctor actually bds and mds and she wants to become doctor but she told one thing but i don't like to study uh, i don't why i asked her, why why don't you don't like to study then how you will become doctor she told i uh, yeah i i don't like i, I don't like to study but my uh, brother has died so i have to do like that then. then she told one more thing here hierarchy also here and also she wants to do something big but she can't do because of this infancy life so chakra 2 is little so desire is there to do that one this one but she couldn't do that uh, we can't so she told that uh, i can do but uh, there is big concentration for me understanding is very difficult so she is little i was like uh, you know confused eh? only when the group i will if i go to some group and read if someone support me if someone support me teach me then i can read like that she told uh, and action here here we can see the action part is in the uh, sub class 5 but it is missing in the second uh, row it's missing energy to the study but to do something but i can't do anything uh, but i can't do it. because that is the missing activity here so she can't do the action completely step mother makes her tension if i am uh, close to father or take photo even now also uh, like shopping she likes uh, shopping very much but uh, after marriage and all she didn't go for that uh, much more shopping and all father strictly said no tour in school here and then she finished some software got appointed in one mnc company but that she didn't go due to her father dominance because she uh, make him to make her to get married so understand only when other support me or teach me but i can't do alone read and can't understand easily and ev- everyone should be correct and she is very much that everyone should be correct uh, and don't tell lie about me and for that she used to fight and argue for a long and in the married life father compared her marriage with dislike dislike repair she don't like her uh, when she uh, see her husband uh when she first seen because she is under 100 kg 100 husband is 100 kg and she is only 45 kg she is 19 year old and she is little 9 years above uh, means uh, more than the, her age so, and 4 years after forcibly she is not interested in the for the uh, baby and anything she is not interested in is that means she is not prepared for the children also here and four years after because she again studied there something she studied after marriage for two three years she studied uh, after four year four years parents posted her no this is not good this will give us bad name then only she went for and then there is a con- she conceived and she live uh, separately in coimbatore and she, he is in chennai 
husband is in chennai and she lived in coimbatore she is really very really very difficult for her to uh, be there like uh, uh, there is some separated separation happened that day also so split is happened throughout her life and uh, there is her mother in law is little strict mother in law is strict and also uh, uh, she she told her to go for a job for few days and she has a breast cancer and when she heard about that mother is have mother in law has a breast cancer she afraid of it also i don't know how to care children she told i usually i don't know how to care then why they given me this child then how, how, how i am going to take care of the child and and all she always think about it even that father please come father you will if he, she go to the father uh, someone should help me to care her. but she told no you have to care like that then again she get despondent so no sexual urge and no support but i should finish the education only she, her her interest is more in the education that time sexual separation is there and because she don't like her husband and mental oppression by the father and the husband dominance she wants what she need immediately even after marriage she, uh, before what her father has did same thing his husband also uh, help whatever she need uh, she have otherwise she shout i need i need something like so otherwise she couldn't be something you know the uh, family is not that much happy then so she become fights and with her husband when she need something she need her comfort zone always and his husband will uh, fulfill all her needs so her husband complained her about her that she is not working household things yeah when she came uh, actually when he came alone and he asked me uh, doctor if you tell then his father tells only she is to uh, uh, just here please you tell she is not actually she is not working in house uh, but she is taking care uh, arun I, uh, that i can tell only the truth she she is doing very good with the uh, arun she is very sincere in taking initiatives for him and everything but she again at night she will tell i uh, this uh, this problem that problem every one month to one he used to go for the test and everything and he also take him my life is like a daily that time only she told that my life is like daily pushing boat in life so because i should be with this family only because she think uh, she don't want to separate she want don't want to go out of it but uh, she didn't have any uh, you know physical relationship with the husband also and good in the finance but she said is a good financially i am very fine when the anger from her step father and something whatever happens uh, she used to go for spiritual things because it makes her better i won't be there nowadays i sorry i won't bother nowadays because she tell when the meditation helps her she won't bother about step father even if she go to her father house uh, she won't bother about the step mother even though she is to scold or something because she like that comfort zone so she is enjoying she won't get more uh, irritation about it then and then i can't move my hands and legs during sleep negative thoughts comes a lot feels insane secured with the husband and says nobody is there for me any whenever she talks uh, sometimes uh, she is to say like you know magnesium like says nobody is there for me like that i, I am not happy with the husband only secured with my father i love him so much i need company and support she connect with the friends and so go there feel happy with their family whenever she uh, like to go with their friends she used to go to their friends house for two three days with the, with his sons and she will be there and then come to the house like that she used to be and sometimes she feel that uh, when she went for allopathy allopathy hospital and all sometimes she felt that when when she went to a doctor who is relative actually for her why not i can marry him why my father didn't get marry with him this question was came with him he also asked his uh, her father attachment towards who talk well with me sexual urge comes only when i am start work when i start any work some uh, thoughts come about like this and then sexually with them then the relationship will never proceed make me that means uh, it makes me very sad she is uh, she is saying that uh, after she have that thoughts and all uh, what happens she that relationship will not be continue usually and what happens then she makes more, more sad about it uh, when this wrong thoughts come she feel good if the doctor never talk aversion to life again so she she is very sincere in take 
care of his adhd son and she only hand she she, she only can handle with stick no even the father could in uh, he uh, that uh, may, first son uh, sharun never uh, uh, respond to his father mother only i asked one thing when they came uh, second third follow up i asked him he told uh, i asked him who do you like much he told uh, in front of mother and papa he told that uh, i like how many percent do you give for papa he told 90 percent for mommy he told no i didn't give much for <laughs> this shows that she is very strict upon her she only can handle excuse me and also she is to learn music and then does the meditation techniques so we are doing some meditation i used to teach her she did that meditation techniques if i tell you know the, usually we can do it like 10 15 minutes or half an hour but she will do whole day like you know millifolium something it will do for throughout 24 hours they will do the rituals you no know, like that she used to do the long throughout some days like handling food so can treating and taking the activities and many treatments in yoga matter sincerely but can't do alone better she wants someone someone should support the group only in the group she feel better I can draw, but no encouragement in childhood also, also now. Fear of household works. Irritation with children uh, sometimes. Because when uh, uh, brought up, she get very irritated so because of physical uh, weakness and all. I don't want together with my husband, but in the, in I need to be in family for sons so that I need it. Whenever I hurt it, I feel want of confidence. Suppress the emotions in my life. And irritation, sad, and irritation like this, she used to say. And also say, when uh, problem with the trust, so avoid trusting anyone now. Unwanted thoughts, uh, any person will talk more confidence uh, and their love, love over them. Desires like outside snacks, fried rice and chocolate, see more tasty foods. Uh, and you see, like, uh, you know, she goes to outside and takes some foods and all. Paneer, she likes paneer much. Butter masala like that, honey, butter naan, she like like that. She like very sweets much. And she is very much interested in the thirst, tasty. She whenever she comes here, my wife used to do very good in cooking. She loved that cooking. She uh, well that she tell, yeah, it's very nice. I should be here for eating. She said like that. So like singing and dancing and like that. I burning. If late. If late, uh, can't open my eyes. Dreams running more, but forget. How do you feel in family? I just asked, how do you feel in the family? Four people in family are different, different ways. So I'm trying to handle and control them. It's my situation daily. So my, my life is like daily pushing boat in the life. So no attachment nowadays, but I should take care to son. He is ADHD child. So I'm improving him. So I want to control voice. Uh, because, uh, you know, actually when there is the second chakra, which is the, uh, the desire part, whatever she uh, wants this, this in like food or anything, whatever the desire comes, the wrong desire or the correct desire, she have little, the mirror image of that second chakra is fifth chakra. So that here, it affects her uh, voice. You see how uh, verbally she speak more, the lacacity. She is more lacacity, talk much. You see, if I see, there are, my, my patient used to send the, uh, Many, uh, you know, what's a voice call, not message. Sometimes message, sometimes a voice call. So I couldn't even hear this voice because sometimes 10, 15 times she used to send. I couldn't see. Then she will ask after a few days, you shouldn't, you didn't see doctor. No, I will see when I get time. So she's, uh, she, so, uh, and, and she wants to control because in meditation, she understood that my weakness is there in the fifth chakra. So fifth chakra means here, this is Vishwadhi chakra, it's purification. So if it purifies what happened, the many purification happens in her life. It has happened after the meditation. Worry about what she think. So, and then afterwards, she think that uh, what she think about that doctor and all feel guilty. Oh, no, 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 I should not be. Because that is the column of life. Wants to be good. No, wants to be good. I should not be bad. So like that. So uh, can't control children more than my capacity. The brain tired, she tells. Uh, one son is not obeying her. 
and uh, husband also not obeying no, not many things she used to say about like this only mentally feel alone not support you like my father and confusion a lot chaos will be there because uh, of uh, whatever she used to think she used to have many things and being in this infancy stage giving more responsibility she get more uh, chaos more uh, confusion what to do how to come up even you know if i tell this is the cleansing for example left side cleansing do some candling candle in this uh, do do in this finger means she used to ask again how to do it how to do it yes i yes, say yes. how to do it after uh, some weeks after also if i say something so how to do it she know already but i will what actually why she is asking again and again how to do it that is what the problem of infancy here okay uh, routine work i can't do it like cooking uh, which i did before i don't i don't like this now before actually she used to cook like in, because it is a routine she wants something new something new to do lately that's why she went to music vina uh, singing like that changing her uh, habits like that more logical to do even in meditation that's why she is asking how to do otherwise she can enjoy the silent state image she used to think uh, that also about the images what others think about me it's not that much but she used to say that like brain dominates the heart here i want to say about this subclass 5 you see this is the brain and the heart usually in the subclass 5 brain is going to dominate this that means uh, dominate the heart so suppression of the heart emotional things going to suppress what happens in this case of uh, this uh, lady uh, women she used to suppress many many emotions emotions is nothing but chakra 2 because this is how when i am when i probe into the chakra base i got the remedy very easily into it i came to the first to the subclass easily because of this only and also to the uh, family and then to the remedy because of this thought helps me a lot and here very very clear that the brain when the brain works much that is masculinity so in her case she is wants to not to work that's why she is uh, in in term of masculinity is very much working not to do work just sitting and watching if she want to do something she couldn't she can't do it that's what it is this is what analysis uh, this is c5 i and others and masculinity brain dominates more than the heart split in the family and relationship that is what happened in her family like all the issues uh, the splits came even the husband and relationship is not it uh, not good also uh will power uh, will power issue started uh, so with rheumatism when the will power tends to do something she trying to do it but the limb get affected with uh, you know spinal issues and all hierarchy is there, there no son said that uh, father she has given more mark to father she said why why she asked in that moment she asked very seriously why you i am only taking care of you how you can say this much? why why you are saying that not mark for me so in that moment itself she asked in that Uh, to her uh, son father child this a uh, subclass because of father child relationship is very much so very clingy he strict father and strict mother in law here and but uh, he is very much clingy to the father and uh, uh, also he suppress domination dominance by uh, the father by stopping her uh, interested hobbies and all more towards the discipline Uh, like uh, everyone should be correct correct like that she is more logic uh, and sincere but can't uh, she is sincere but can't do something more because of the infancy right she is a congestion the, you know why the verbal and capacity is because of congestion rigidity also like that and suppress her heart and then sexual things uh, got rigidity somewhere she tell like a spasm but i didn't write so i, uh, I uh, so i didn't write here also but no flexibility are and hardening the heart because the flexibility i told her when she came to the house she didn't flexible to to do something with uh, her help or support the family where she is going so that is that indicates that hardening of the heart the religious rituals meditation ameliorates some complaints and guilty is there little bit individually she suppressed herself she didn't leave because that's why the third chakra is not from the sort of uh, 
she couldn't get that atom so means uh, self she so but she is little aware of the self Maybe that's why she said this uh, here i get this pain here i get this much when doing meditation i do i can see oh some kundalini energy is rising here i can feel that self energy can little self awareness little increase and these things towards that in that uh, se5 the fabese i can come into that is road to vikas infancy line and fabels and fabese in papilionis <sighs> existence it's because of exist existential security strong sense of oppression we can see here it's happened and also more pleasure seeking you see like uh, with that uh, food and all and uh, whatever she wants wants immediately like immediate gratification and also pleasure seeking when uh, she wants to enjoy without burden of uh, difficulties in life and also she uh, had that that pleasure is seeking for the, the doctor and those who talk much her seeking is little pleasure is more to them and trust issues happens need unconditional love whenever she she wants to keep attention she wants more to talk she wants to every time to talk and to help and to support like that she used to talk not only everyone not only with the father for doctor with everyone and remain in the comfort zone and preparedness of the marriage children caring children everything and there is symposium how uh, rama diri rama doctors told that uh, uh, symposium is that is um, nitrogen fixation is there that's why there is always need some support and this uh, yes you know for as if i and uh, this fabesi group always need more guru willing to act but insufficient know how to act they don't know how to act so no strength at all so learning difficulties but magnum is there in presence of lang in this uh, sorry it's not looking you see uh, in this fabese helps in groups uh, because of the magnum they are they need perfection and being well in, in the group because it is in the fourth row of our uh, uh, periodic table so and help others i can't together with husband in any way splitting up she she's in that mode and being very strong uh, masculinity in her one day i told to give a shake after counseling i am giving to you no know, she didn't even after meditation i told if you are meditating you have to so i do some consolation then i uh, counseling then i told you can do but she is not able to do but he is ready to do question to her if action feel more overwhelmed then she become fatigue congestion so that's i told it's a verbal diarrhea and its locality is there life is very hard and dry no thrills more disappointed in her life and uh, here i came to the mayasam because without mayasam i couldn't go into this drug and there are some uh, and one more thing which make me think about this five stigma is the uh, eye symptoms she usually said uh, i couldn't uh, get some uh, she used to go and check every uh, monthly once to check for the eye hospital get drainers and like that she put some drops and get better and perceives all things as chaos it is cancellation things go out of control in the family life and also with son and this line i my life is like daily pushing boat in life is such a in the fourth mayasam that is in the heart in the fourth be like uh, cancer mayasam and i felt this also may be included in this the mother in law get breast cancer so she is a little afraid of it and for second feeling is there for her that uh, my father also did like that and my, my husband uh, he is very elder how can he come and marry me and he is uh, 100 kg like that she is to say trying to be more responsible in life situations i symptoms also with so so and prices to be given 30 daily for one week because she used to say that the complaints more talk much so i given that for one week then later i started with 200 uh, weekly once really she felt uh, better this is spicy pigment when you know some uh, you see how hard not it is like a masculinity uh, and i am not depressed she told one thing after when she came for the follow up on seventh month she told uh, i am not depressed nowadays uh, even someone not talk for long duration thoughts reduce so much uh, wants to learn music uh, uh basic singing and veena something again so completely no sensation of lose in all the jobs this is what i felt this is the whenever i think about her i feel that 
she is still loose loose i don't know where to put her in <laughs> she uh, loose 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 because that time i'm not that much aware of uh, uh, this you know the uh, mode of sensation uh, technique or the uh, p module and all but uh, slowly i get very interested then i start uh, studying all this i get that the looseness is come in this aspect of fabesi group is really wonderful to see and pain reduced in joints then and then comes and becoming more attached with problems with my husband nowadays just witnessing my control this is what the witnessing is nothing but the power of uh, vishuddhi chakra purification when the purification happens the witness follows no argument no pain so my control the i my i can control the thoughts about my kids also reduced to feel much better so and then uh, after that one more follow i sorry one more follow she came doing meditation without thoughts now so when meditation means always keep silence that is thoughtless awareness kept she felt it that's why little pain comes in high uh, put some drops sometimes feel cool pain in uh, right shoulder joint uh, but no loosening sensation at all and sleep better now emotional conflicts with the husband till now uh, i i th- she told with little, little. i didn't connect husband even i am in silence he is uh, trigger sometimes for trying to witness now uh, because of the pain little pain shoulder joint i given 30 again for few days and then uh, changed attached to two words who talk that i told you know that she told this one attached to words who talk well with me sexual urge comes only when i start work thoughts comes and dream sexually with them then so dreams so that relationship will never proceed no she told that she told 70 percentage changes from that issue first she told no i didn't have that then she again told 70 percentage i came out of that issue so i that you know not comes nowadays and this i want to share if you like this what is the management i just given dr. along with dr dr baskaran yes uh, we will stop here because i have to do some of the meditation medicines also with them yes. yeah i yeah, think it's finished. been a wonderful case you have explained the whole thing and the case and how you uh, about the fabels and how you came to fight the stigma and how much it has helped so i want to thank you very much for uh, showing us how fight the stigma brought balance into her life and at least she could manage to cope with her husband even though she didn't feel very very good cases okay rama very good cases baskaran very good cases thank you so much thank, thank you, you very much thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you very welcome. much really thankful for this uh, uh, chance you are giving this <laughs> really thank you doctor yeah. thank you for uh, nirupam ma doctor and you also for everyone in this team thank you for all of you uh, for your passion for listening to me doctors thank you very much shall i stop share yeah please thank you so we had a very good exposure to fiso stigma we have revised robinia and baptisia very nicely and so now we are going to do a little bit of uh, uh little bit of the materia medica of uh, fiso stigma that's also a very long 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 remedy so we can do see we can cut it a little bit short so fiso stigma as we said it's a very very good remedy especially a lot of things for the nerves and for the eyes so it was given in the earlier time to silence slaves later used to create a nerve gas which paralyzes spinal activity so you saw how this patient had so much loosness and couldn't do anything and also therapeutic treatment for myasthenia gravis and multiple sclerosis she had lot of joint problem lot of looseness she couldn't do all her work as we saw in baskaran's case and also it is used to improve cognition and you saw in the case also how her dullness concentration all became better here it was very strange the story is very nice in nigeria substance was given to women who were suspected of witchcraft if they died it was a sign they were guilty they already died yeah and if they vomited then they were vindicated and not uh, witches if this is a typical fifth column treatment of women by men domination we saw the men domination here in this case of baskarans whether her father never allowed her to do any of the hobbies 
the husband also was very cancer miasm he brought out nicely and uh, ailments from fear of death imagine body parts are absent and they can't recognize their own voice dreams they are pursued by the animal and the soldiers who are pursuing them fear of insanity with giddiness thoughts are rapid and as he told you also this verbal diarrhea activity of brain is continuous even in sleep all problems of his life will be in his dreams so thoughts are persistent and terrible thoughts are always on how to prevent split very anxious about the family she was anxious about her father's family lot of effort to prevent disintegration and even her family she said for my son say children say i have to live with the same family so she carried on right too many things are there in the room and i want to make a an order and i want to create an order but it is all the activity and takes me too much superhuman effort to do this so collapses like pascaren's patient stretching beyond one's capacity trying to hold things together which is a cancer mind always stretch ailments are from death from loved one she also lost her mother partners or friends activity is increased delusion imagination hallucination illusion there are too many objects in the room he has to solve it and put everything in order in that room body parts are absent voice cannot recognize dream pursued pursued by enemies fear insanity of losing reason what i go and hit rapid frightful persistent thoughts constantly they are terrible she said they are wandering even while she is studying and therefore cannot study so well activity is more in uh, than other fabulous mind is active even in sleep and nothing is right everything is as if going wrong too many things in room continuous counting them and become finally paralytic state of mind and body uncommon alan materia medica says uncommon mental activity cannot stop thinking paralysis and collapse it means from strong grief no split therefore wants to make the effort to hold it together mind strong energy so much that they are unable to sleep or thought 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 paralysis following strong grief one separating from the other spasms of involuntary muscles acute myelitis lot of spinal problems existential insecurity we saw in pascaren's case feels persecuted wild feeling this woman didn't allow herself to be persecuted to feel persecuted who actually her father never allowed her to do anything even the hobbies even her career even her marriage she married the very fat and older man wild sensation in the brain and she suppressed it all right wild sensation in the brain anxiety about friends feels outcast from society dreaming alone the other does not accept her husband also never accepted her which brings great sorrow so then can go into schizophrenic state or a paralytic male qualities expressed through will so their strong will power paternity of the father but she also whatever she did for the adhd son she was continuous to do that fell asleep tops deterioration of the eye along with root up so any in children with thick glasses uh we have to think of pfizer stigma teacher is very dominating child is frightful frightened withdrawn suppressed emotion burden from school child does not have the capacity because he is in infant stage of development lot of pressure sits for hours in front of books and the laptop because he is very fearful of the teacher but cannot make much progress sits lots of the time with this medicine child will become free and the vision will become free and the night blindness will be better so father mother may have had a consanguineous marriage means a where they are in relation cousin or something after some time father not loving mother so shouting at her child in the village does not want to listen to the fights and start reading on the land he does not want mother and father to split and he wants to become join government service which is like safe and where he would be you know always safe he why all the time he wants something very safe slowly eyes get affected 
action is match on the eyes below five to sigma five. After cataract surgery, the lens is dislocated from proper place. So again, five to sigma nuta. Numerous eye problems. This is the first state for damage to eyes, says Rosenberg. Vision is poor, hardening of cornea, motor, nerve, nervous system, eyes affected, straining of eyes, TV, computer for hours. I associated with judgment, okay? So this judgment is related to the Bible. Deborah, who judge and prophet, eyes were picked out as she has seen too much. So eyes were taken out, okay? So eyes, that is the story of the eyes. Yeah. Children early get weak vision, thick glasses. These are the children whose parents led them to read too much and very early for hours. And joy of life was suppressed while the blade is bound and molded. Teacher was very fearful. Child withdrawn, then gets angry and loses vision. So this remedy, Pfizer stigma, restores vision. Important remedy for numbness and paralyzed part, locomotor ataxia, ambithermal or slightly chilly or even hot. So it covers the whole range. Cancer myism, we have seen it in the case also things too much, it's a legume and the theme is split and split. Clinically, you can have locomotor ataxia, muscular dystrophy, myopia, palpitation, paralysis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, so on. Poliomyelitis, prostration, sleepless, but the thoughts are too much, spinal irritation, lot of joint problems as we saw in Masculine's case, spinal sclerosis, stiffness, tremor. Ten year boy quarrels with mother, I will leave you. Father always wants split and child suffers from muscular disorder. Father domination, patient, patient make great effort to prevent divorce. Spinal sclerosis, kids neck, tremors, thick specs, paraplegia, Parkinson's disease, hemiplegia, numerous eye problems, damage to eyes, deteriorating vision, hardening of cornea, motor nerves in the eyes. Problem range from contraction to paralysis, deterioration of vision after strenuous eye effort for many hours and complete. Weak vision at a young age, we study for hours. At young age, activating the mind too early, time joy suppressed, teacher becomes oppressive, outbursts of anger, child loses vision, kind of vision paralysis. This helps to improve even astigmatism and cataract. So we saw myopia, glaucoma, night blindness, photophobia, profuse lacrimation, exophthalmus, contraction, increasing myopia, vision trembling, astigmatism, father quarrels with the mother. Any, anytime there has to be in the background the split and the quarrels. Child reading under the street lamp wants to be government teacher, bloodshot eyes, village never had proper current, so study the street lamp, Pfizer Sigma helps the vision. Selected in government as teacher. Cataract lens dislocated by blow, then Pfizer Sigma can correct. Pain in the right popliteal space, burning and tingling in the spine, hands and feet feel numb, flushes of heat in palms, and myelitis inflammation of the small. Mind. Staggering gait as if drunk, feeling of constriction, will is strong but different in way of carrying out this purpose. Palsy is commonly found. Locomotor ataxia, unsteady gait. Later by open air, worse motion, stepping, descending, misstep, jar, falls, blows. So that is common. Anything which can be jar, jar can affect the eye or the nerves. Worse pressure, bathing, heat and cold, cold bath. Aggravated lying on the left side on waking, in the morning, always worse and in church. So that was Pfizer stigma. There are one or two other small remedies, which we will finish now. So you have Trifolium pretens. It's called Trif. It's the red clover, again, a beautiful purple flower. Clover is Latin for tree, family is Sabatia. Key points are catches cold easily, post nasal discharge, powerful remedy for dry cough by cold open air, salivation, and menopause. Congestion, excess of secretion, 
from the nose and mouth, a lot of salivation. Profuse salivation due to swelling, congested glands like mercury. Tonsils are swollen as it mums, often catching cold, producing too much mucus, leading to asthma. Acute cough from post-nasal drip, from dryness in the throat, followed by sadness and fatigue. So everything is too much for them. We've seen that in Pisces, stigma, you're saying it in Trisodium. They are too much and then they get very tough. Powerful remedy for dry cough that is aggravated from cold and open air in contrast to asthma, which is better by open. Fullness of brain, so cerebral congestion. Congestion we have seen all through in every single remedy and in every single case that we have shared. The dispersion helps. So diarrhea and bleeding in menopause helps in all the trifolium. Heavy bleeding during delivery and vaginal discharge. Congestion is better after menstruation. Therefore, patients come and tell you not only lachesis, where they say, I feel better after menstruation, but all the subclass 5 remedies. Also. So emotion overload. So we see thinking, thinking, thinking. Express a depression. Everything looks dark and depressing. Exceedingly low spirits. Eventually mentally scattered with confusion, dullness, poor memory and mental failure. Head is covered with crust. We've seen that in mesarium. We've seen that in another remedy too. Covered with crust and scabs and the cancer hardening. So case. Trifolium. 19-year woman suffering from a disturbing cough with congestion, worsening towards her period, so PMS, after which there was temporary sense of empty. Additionally, reported sadness and melancholy throughout the periods of coughing or congestion in all its form that is worsening the symptoms. That is why after her menstrual period, she gets relief because there's a discharge and the congestion is relieved. The congestion is reflected by secretion throughout the body, whether it be vaginal discharge, discharge from the nose, eyes and mouth. Special congestion of saliva. When she wakes up in the morning, the pillow is wet with saliva. So that also relieves. The most prominent symptom is a lack of sleep as a result of coughing. So insomnia, whether it's from thoughts or coughing, there is insomnia, which is quite common in the whole cycle. The throat is irritated all the time and it seems that mucus is being produced constantly to disrupt the smooth transition of air in the rest of the body. After menstruation, the mucosal state is replaced with a sense of dryness that irritates the throat, causing coughing and sleep. The general characteristic aggravation of cold space is better by opening. So trifolium pretense was found suitable due to prominent congestion, alternating with emptiness and dryness affecting all the systems of the body, including mind, the sadness and fatigue, loss of concentration, loss of will are the symptoms of dryness at the mental. Four doses of trifolium 200 were given for the first 24 hours, which eliminated the cough and all associated symptoms. This was a case from Guy Tide. Next remedy, again, a small remedy, Sarothamnus scoparius. It is also called scoparin. It's a diuretic, it's a cardiac stimulator. And sexuality difficult to control. We saw in the other case of Bhaskaran, where she had a lot of sexuality, but it was controlled. Na? With the husband, nothing happened. But whenever she went to work or she found somebody who was talking well and better, she felt that sexual. So dreams of sexual fantasy and of murder. So gout weak, heart, here you saw na, cardiac stimulator, injection factor less than 40 or 40, aggravated triglycerides and lack of initiative. Then you can think of this remedy. Colorful dreams are sexual fantasy and murders that she held, she's held and suppressed. Then again, kidney is the other thing, renal failure infection, Graves disease, thyroid, but with active sexuality. Because thyroid, sometimes when you are, you are suppressed. So main is heart, kidney, and sexuality. 
weak heart with strong desires, sad about trifles, irritable about trifles, laziness and lack of initiative. On the other hand, due to this initial position of the role, you know, there are strong impulses, which are difficult to control, especially in women. Women may have decreased libido because at this stage, this is feminine process is ending. So all the feminine things coming to a halt and masculine coming strong. Also known for this affinity, problems in giving birth. Again, a female problem. Colorful dreams about murder, sexual fantasy, desire to be held. The masculine forces are still hard to risk. Stones and sad, we saw in hydrangea also, right? Sand in the urine. So adrenaline glands, bladder affected, heart we saw. So a lot of pathology, kidney failure, heart, and then calcification and hardening leading to high blood pressure. Eyes are bulging. So because the same group, so chrysostigma has maximum on eyes, but this also has eyes. Multiple heart problems, angina at night, weakness of the heart with dropsy. Dropsy, congestion will always be there. So with the split and separation, cognition of that which is the other, then me starts to develop. The location of the role that the integration of life explains why Baptist is not able to make this distinction. And we saw this in Trifalium also, losing an identity when encountering a force who's stronger than himself. We saw this in Pfizer Stigma's case also, where the father was stronger, the husband was stronger, so they lose themselves. The masculine potency is necessary for actualizing the separation in our training. A lack that is stemming from the lack of father or a strict father or a not supportive father, as we see. They have difficulty on separating from the family. Many have difficulty leaving home. We saw this in masculine case, although they will have desire to do so. Heart problems. Hello. Heart problems accompanied by weakness and the great need for sleep because there is a lot of insomnia from either thoughts or due to cough or whatever. So sleep, there is a great desire and sleep is prolonged. Or the sleep is very restless, irritated from any noise, explosive irritant. Wakes from palpitation around three o'clock due to constriction about the heart. And the skin, we have seen in many of the remedies, a lot of the skin, and then urticaria, acne, psoriasis, boil. We have seen in mesarium how you have the crust and the tendency to catch mice. The existential threat of the second row is exasperated in this fifth column. That which is the other is now experienced as threat and therefore you have allergy. An allergy is an overreaction to the external stimulus and it is very allergic remedies of trifolium, high level of eosinophils in allergy, kidney problems, the collapse of the immune system. Heart, kidney, skin, allergy, weakness. Does not want to get up and take action. Depressed, is this pessimistic, pretty great trouble in the world. So why do, the world is going to be troubled, so why do anything at all? That is there. So, I went through it very fast because I thought we had very little time. That Bhaskaran's case very good, but it took very long. So I went through this very fast. We've done three remedies, four remedies, really. We have done Sarothamnus corparis, which is from for the heart and kidney and rejection faction with 40 triglycerides are high, would be a useful trifolium. Also allergies and so far. And here you have trifolium suitable for very lot of congestion followed by dryness and lot of concentration, lack, sadness, fatigue, dryness in the mind. Throat is irritated, so much more for cough and she's better after periods. So this was the case. And emotion overlaid with depression. Everything looks dark and depressing. A lot of crust, like we saw here, 
uh, in Kisolium as well as you saw in Nizarium. So those are the traits. Key points catches cold easily. Uh, and in that in stigma, you are better by cold open air. A lot of things in the morning, staggering weight. We saw the case, lot of joint, lot of nervous system, and especially the eyes. Very important remedy for children with thick glasses. Think about it immediately and give it. It will help the eyes and help the specs. Yes, any questions? Uh, hello, doctor. Good evening. This is Ashok here. Hi, Ashok. Uh, what would be the, in case we just concentrate on the eyes of this uh, very nice yeah. uh, medicine you are talking about, yeah. what would be the medium dilutions we should start with? You, know? you should talk about, uh, see, Ruta, we, we give it always in low potency you are giving along with it. So we give six. Physostigma also, you can use 6 or 30. Don't use high. Don't use I, high. Oh. If you are going to do eye problems, thick eyes, then always use the lower because you are doing for a particular pathology, right? You are doing for just that specific purpose. Okay? Uh, eye pathology we can talk about. Yeah. yeah. So 6 is all right to start. Yeah. And you can give sometimes both together. I do that. But physostigma is a very good remedy. We must, must, must remember it for these thick glasses. And we see a lot of children, you know, Billy Bunter in the comic books and so on and so forth. We have children coming to us, small child with thick, big, big glasses. We feel so sorry for that child. If we can do something, it will be so very nice. As you are talking about this remedies belongs to the cancer, but yeah. uh, what I feel with the patient having this all problems of myopia, glaucoma, all yeah. majority problems are with the eyes. Yeah. But what I feel the patient is maybe uh, tuberculonic because he's always want to travel. In this case, we can still give this remedy also. No, true. But uh, the myism seems to be cancer because... There's a lot of pathology. Tuberculum myism will have a lot of cold, but little and more allergy. So, you know, the other remedy, trifolium, may be more useful for it. But here you have a lot of pathology which seems much more developed and where there is, so it seems to be more cancer myism going towards syphilitic. Oh, I see. I see. But still we can go on with the six as you advised here. No, no, that is true. That is true. And we can always uh, go, but I don't think we should, the physostigma is not something which you use in one potency. You can do 6, 30 maximum, 200 is the case here. Yeah. Last question concerned with this remedy. In case the person is, as we normally use constitutional remedy, means that the totality of the person might be going to the yeah, liquid it might be going If it is the constitutional, of course, if you have the mind symptoms, and we said all the drying up and the complete dullness and, you know, confusion and cannot uh, concentrate and the child yeah. cannot concentrate, is terrified, then you can go to higher. Okay, okay. I think in this remedy, you should go step by step and not use 1M directly. This is not a remedy. Certainly. certainly. Last question was concerned to give this remedy along with the, uh, as example is lycopodium you are giving with 1M, 1M or 10M, in between we can start to give also this remedy or at that time when you use this remedy for particularly for eye pathology, we should stop other remedies or we can go along. Correct, correct. No, no, if there is another constitutional remedy and not this one, you along with that, you can always give Phytostigma 6 alongside with that, you know, for the eye pathology. Yeah, okay, okay. That, that, that was the main question. Thank you very much, really. And uh, I have to appreciate again all these programs you are doing, uh, Dr. Vishpal, is certainly very, very nice and helping in our daily life. Thank, Thank you. you very much, really. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much, Ashok. Thank you. Yeah, any other questions? Yeah, Vaima, uh, we have answered your question low potency and how frequent repetition. 
depending on how much we sometimes give it twice a day also thrice a day depending on how bad the number is or how low the number is yes okay anything else so the next time uh, we will be doing uh, the last of the fables few remedies which are little nice i thought so we will do that and we will do all the one liners and we'll stop uh, uh, the fables and then we start the next one with gentiles which is really a very exciting group so it will be a lot of fun i think more important is that we are having a lot of fun in seeing how the cases are being used like robinia for acidity and gi tract with that i mean with simple cases right we don't use robinia now we can use it so if we can start using even one one remedy each week it will be great i keep ordering you know the pharmacy is telling me why don't you give me all the list of your remedies i said no as i learn them i want to use them so i sometimes give only one two remedies every week to him to get it for me yeah so this week this week will be robinia right doctor i want to share one thing doctor here yes dr baskar when i am when i given 30 she told i i am better only first medicine which you given i yeah. didn't keep the number correct But are giving weekly uh, monthly ones like that yeah. that uh, usually my symptoms again coming can you please give that medicine doctor she is asking that's why it's correct you know because you were giving her for her joints you know so that's yeah. what i'm saying when the pathology is more we have to not go jump up i yeah, i i don't use i don't use 1m so much at all i know not of my friends who go straight away 1m 10m i use very little 1m my main, main uh, focus is always 200 and sometimes 30 so i maximum in my in my armamentarium of medicine i have 200 potency i feel if the work is being done there is no need when we you want to use one and we use right oh, and yeah, i don't how, like aggravation so much so i try to prevent that how this answer was given by the patient you see really it's really wonderful i learned that <laughs> actually i, I, I want to start 200 only but because of that severe it i started to 30 after mm-hmm. i go to the 200 again she is uh, in need of that yeah. energy need yeah. of 30 only yeah. <laughs> especially mental but i do hope uh, somehow she gets a uh, little closer to her husband you try and see if that happens yeah last slide is that only uh, doctor last slide is that one so the many changes happen and she called for uh, his her husband uh, is a di- uh, uh, hypertensive patient she want to take here also yeah. for his uh, son also going to take fully homeopathy yes so adhd is very good so and if the husband we can motivate him to lose weight then everything should be all right yeah you can always help we can do better marriage counseling than any other patti yes so yesterday i was explaining to a patient who is uh, from the reiki kind of a, you know there are so many alternative met- alternative holistic approaches these days so i had a patient who's come from that side and i was telling her why homeopathy is better i really feel homeopathy is better because you are doing reiki you are doing eft you are doing all these things but they don't last you know they don't last they come down but because we are using a agent we are using actual medicine uh, you know to give that's why if the remedy is right our effects are long lasting so we have the advantage of doing both the, the mental consultation of whatever counseling or whatever positive thoughts we put in and we also have a physical agent which helps so in all and today also i got a forward saying that of all the alternative medicine homeopathy is the maximum in percentage where people go to and we also when we explain people to people it looks nice you know so many of my friend do reiki and when i'm a little unwell i've been unwell for a long light last two years so they tell me oh we'll send you reiki i say okay fine you want to send me send me but i don't feel uh, you know that much effect though i'm not rejecting it but i am personally don't feel that so much i i'm actually teaching uh, the for my patients many patients even the cancer cancer patients also along with chakra base like uh, realizing yeah. that is what the but last you know, our like- group our group is a little mixed group it's a ngh group so it doesn't know so much about uh, yeah chakra. i have not introduced yet chakra now they know yeah. the inner ages and they are learning how to look at remedies from a group angle and all that 
but they haven't done it so far. So this group is a little different. I purely recommend all uh, the doctors to at least try for some about the knowledge about the chakras. Definitely, because only two chakras here I felt uh, strongly. Yeah, yeah you and said second and fifth. Yeah. yeah. So we will we'll one day have one chakra session with the group. But right now, we let us try to finish the fifth subclass. If they can get yeah. even 10 remedies, you know, even yeah. if they are simple remedies like physostigma, laterus, even simple remedies, if they start using more. You know, I started using alpha alpha so much. I'm getting so much results because you can give it alongside any other medicine and it really builds your immunity. Even my dogs are much better with alpha alpha. So, you know, I'm very happy with all this. Yeah. I'm the very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so very much. Both Rama and Rama yeah, for sharing. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Nirupama, for being the con conductor. Yeah, <laughs> the thank <coordinator>. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she gave instruction <laughs> to write down the cases. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Dr. Nirupama. <laughs> thank you, Rama. Thank you, Master. Yeah, thank, thank, yeah. thank, thank you, Madam. Thank you. And today, Vibha, a lot of people shared, so Vibha didn't get a chance to say. Vibha, you want to say something? Long, I took long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I thought I won't be able to do a single remedy. I was a little worried when you said about psycho, you know, counseling. So that's why I stopped you. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, then. Bye, everybody. See you all. Try to come. Ask her and that. try to come every Thursday also. So let's see what we can, you know, pros, pros, progress in this. Okay, yeah. bye everyone. Yes, Thank yes, ma yes madam. Uh, uh, thank you sincerely, Dr. Rama and Dr. Baskaran. Really chief guest as of now and you are really made today, all of us. And the staff. So thank you so much. So please keep coming so we will learn and awesome. share together and grow together. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. And please don't mind me for rushing through the remedies, but I think we revised it again. So we are clear about the three, four remedies and what, what is the focus. Each remedy has a focus. Phytostigma has eyes. Trifalem has allergy. So we are focused on what it is important. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.